drive for every tri I'm looking at you, New England. That's nice. I'd drive to California for that. I'd absolutely not. <laughs> but I appreciate it. All, All right. right so, Here we go. our last qualifier match of the night, we have James. We got Rivers. Here we go. Facing off against this Samir. Is our, this is also our last Juice. set that we're commenting. It is. It's been a journey. But here we go. James uh, just played Tweak, so he's definitely running hot right now. Juice probably been waiting a bit. I feel like there's just been so many silent killers this tournament, bro. But it's all the usual suspects. There actually haven't been too many crazy upsets this tournament. This is just a story of the bird and the blade. That's right. These two actually played, you know, we've got Jersey's best active player, I'd say, that in region at least. Um, you could argue Tweak is too, or, or Wishes. But I feel like James, James and Juice are, are a classic story. These two yeah. fight a lot. What is James's tag? Do we know? Is that a Fire Emblem thing? Blue's Gang. Uh, Blue's Gang. I don't know. Gang Gang. Oh, okay. Oh, did he get a new cat? Oh. It's just another cat? It's, a, it's his current cat. I think the one that's on Hospice Care. Yeah, James puts a lot of respect on his pets. Yeah. It's, it's the reason he changed his tag. You know? So much, much respect on the end Yeah, for sure. J James definitely a homie in every aspect. Both these guys are. Yeah, for sure. But this is a tournament. Yep. Who only one winner? No matter who's a homie at this at this at this stage. Of course. The patience there. I wonder why he was crouching. I wonder what he was trying to avoid by crouching there. Because uh, he was he was sitting and crouched, just not shielding or doing anything for a little bit. Maybe he was looking for an opportunity to get a down tilt. Keep it in consideration. These guys play a lot. Yeah. Like the levels of mind chess that they're on. Of I know that you know that I know. Right. Is so deep that they're gonna be going for these options where on paper. You really shouldn't be recommending for Krom versus Falco, but it could work between these two guys. Wow, catching with that up smash. Yeah, the, both these guys have been so patient. They're treating their characters like glass right now because they know how explosive the combo game can be on each other. If Juice gets caught off stage wrong, if James gets caught by an up tilt wrong, it, it's going to be curtains for either of them. Everybody ganks until the Krom starts up airing. Yeah. He pulls you to the ledge. You're not having a fun <laughs> Oh, wow. Great fastball in there right there with James. And what's the call? Okay, great. That was an interesting usage of Shine right there. But it makes sense. It definitely makes sense considering... Uh, I would think that, though, uh, Juice would probably want to go for, like, Sweet Spot there or something. Because you can catch Krom off the apex of his recovery. Actually, can you? I don't know if you can. I know you can catch Ike on the apex of his. Um, my bad, I believe, they're, I believe they're moving. So I think you can, though. I'm, pr I'm fairly certain you can. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Falco's got some ignorant options sometimes. Yeah, he it doesn't have to be real to work. Yeah. The great, the great words of Kofi. We've been seeing a lot more Falco from Juice as of lately in comparison to his, uh, his ZSS as well. I was talking about uh, about it with him a little bit earlier in the tournament. He was saying he just wasn't confident with his ability to like get the job done with him. Yeah. She's a hard character to play, man. She is. If you're not deliver delivering equal parts like domination and neutral and cheesing out your opponent, wow, it's hard to deliver. But Falco's a good character for it. Rivers is doing his best just to stop any of that momentum from building up on Juice's end. These guys have also just been playing hella safe this entire time. No back air out there from Juice, guessing wrong on that, unfortunately. But James, James has been keeping him at a distance. Like, these two have been trading blows back and forth, but James has been getting more off of it. Oh, wow. He tried to get the startup, but uh, the startup, I believe, of up, up, up B is 10 frames. So, Juice was able to grab that a lot quicker than he was able to get the startup. He actually grabbed him out of the startup of it. Slide his feathers right on here. Both these guys are just swiping, bro. We need something to get him started. That's not what it is, though. That's going to give okay, just stop a big it. opportunity for damage. You can keep him at the ledge. That's a very scary air dodge from James right there. That could have gone wrong very quickly. That was a very high height to air dodge from. Oh, these guys just... The nooch between these two has been ridiculous. Like These guys are just using the best options they have in the kit. Wow, not getting the shine in time. That could have been scary. Oh, all right. Couldn't, couldn't run up on him just yet. Excellent DI from James. The spacing on these guys is immaculate. It's really good to set. I, like, they are not hitting each other. They 
like it's funny to say that, but like you're not wrong. It's just the idea that like they have such a clear cut plan for where they want to be, how they want to hit each other. This is where frame advantage really comes into play. Guys, fire fire up your ultimate frame data apps and start educating yourself on frame advantage because this, this is a perfect example of why why it's so crucial to know that kind of stuff. What you can and can't punish. Oh, wow. Juice has gotten James on the heavy back foot now. One one move could spell curtains for this man. Like that one. Like that one. That was a slow. Had enough already, Falco. It's only his first game, bro. That was a slow battle forward for uh, for Juice. Juice fighting from a deficit the whole time. Run back to Stadium 2, I think, is a fine option for uh, for him as well. No particular reason for him to change the setting, considering how well he was playing on it. Though, I do think he needs to take a bit more advantage of the, uh, the flats. Yeah. Like just, just keep Juice away from them. Don't let them be active space. Escape to them when it's necessary. If you can lock Falco down to either the space between the platforms or the even smaller space between the edge of the flats to the ledge, he has such little room to work with when it comes to his combo. Oh, wow. James coming up with some new stuff there. <laughs> I'm so impressed by Juice's just like patience and, and just waiting for uh, the overcommitments. He's, he's just been playing so carefully around all of James's options in close range. Like his CQC has been baller this entire set. And honestly, it has to. You can't really miss a beat when it comes to fighting Krom in close range. Oh, for sure. Fair? Okay, no, no fair. Okay, forcing the air dodge there. I guess he can't follow up off that angle of the air dodge. I think the, the, the shine is there to at least put some damage on Rivers. Why? He actually shifted his hurt box with the down tilt, and he couldn't get grabbed. I think drifting forward to really get in there, that was really smart by James. This is some sick neutral, bro. This is oh, really not. sick neutral. Yeah, it's, it's good. They're like, whoa, hold on. Did he really go for side B? All right. Here's the madman sometimes. He's looking so hard to just hit right now. Like, James just can't, it, like, they're both playing chess right now, and, and Juice is winning. Like, it, it, the, the patience on, oh, great air dodge to ledge. Oh my gosh, Juice is just all over this man. 5G rampant. coverage. This is the momentum that Rivers was trying to stave away from Juice. And it, it's... He's whittling him down very slowly. You think we'll see the Diddy? No, I think, it promised it, I think he promised he's going to stick out. Like, of course, Diddy's an option available to Rivers, but I feel like Diddy's not going to really give much to Rivers that... Prom won it. It's just like Juice is playing with some heat right now. James just hasn't been able to find the momentum. Because like, James is super duper scary with momentum, but if you play against a player that really stifles it, it can be kind of difficult. He just hasn't been, like, the combo game on these two is very, like, drastically different. Because James James's startups are way more situational than, uh, than Falco's. Falco has one really good combo starter. Krom has a lot of good combo starters, but not a really, like, a lot of very uh, easy to hit roots, I'd say. Your decision-making tree has to be like rock solid, especially against a, a player with such discipline and patience as Samir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he mad. Yeah, no, he's definitely not about it right now. I mean, that's what happens when Samir just like runs the gauntlet on you. Like the whole Falco showcase comes out combo-wise. These fastball air dodges have been helping. Uh, that being said, though, James, that might have been the mental warfare James needed to actually, because Juice not looking as uh, patient as he, as he was before. Oh, no. He's fine. Oh, my gosh. He's not fine. He's not fine. Well, actually, no, he's fine. He's fine. He's not fine. He is definitely <laughs> not fine. Not after that. James Yo. with the eye roll. He's like, this guy's so crazy. Falco's so sassy, bro. He's a sassy dude. I feel bad for Falco's girl, man. She probably just put up with so much garbage. His his girl, his R wing. It's R wing. He's dedicated <laughs> to the air. <laughs> Committed. His body, I fly that. His enemies, I kill that. His love, I got that. Sometimes. 
Non subspace though. Subspace he gets he, he trashes his girl. Well, she, does, <laughs> she No, she bodies foxes. Oh you're right. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, a little over. Alright, back to PS2 once again, sticking with Krom. James really has to pull something out of his hat here. I think it's just a matter of just keeping Juice in check. Like, game one was fairly close. James is a very creative player as well. It's just that Juice has been doing such a good job of stifling that creativity. He's he's the art teacher that tells him he's not gonna amount to anything in life. Alright. Checking him with the jab. That's one option we haven't seen too much. I, I, I guess it's punishable by F-Tilt from Falco, but uh, that, those roll-ins should... James is kind of, I think, being a little too patient for his own good. Yeah, turning up the gas might benefit James. But... Yeah. You got you to gotta overheat him, man. Like, it, it's it's clear that Juice is winning the, the patient game very confidently. Got to turn up, bro. Easier said than done, though. <laughs> An important thing about that is that, like, a lot of Rivers' creativity comes out in how well he's playing on the ground. Right. Like, if he has landing space, he's a problem. It does not matter who he has to fight. It doesn't matter what their ranking is anywhere, what character they're playing. You give him somewhere to land, he's going to make it a hard time for you to stand there as well. If he can just, if he can just extend this lead a little bit, he's going to be looking hella nice. Oh, wow. I, I can't believe he almost didn't get caught by that. He's been kept at ledge so much, too. I feel like Juice has just been doing such a great job of keeping him there. Because Juice doesn't want Rivers to stand on the stage. He doesn't want to give... He doesn't want him to play the video game. This is a one-player game, bro. Your brother's controller is not plugged in. Single He's the experience. only one playing Super Mario right now. That was nice. I don't think that will kill, though. Yeah, I feel like that just doesn't do enough knockback, no matter what percentage he's at. He might need to push him off to the point where he'd be like standing at ledge and doing it. It seems like that move has set knockback. I'm surprised he didn't grab there. Right, great sweet spot by James right there, completely avoiding any any risk. This this is what we need: the survivability from this man. 221. That onesie weighs a lot at this point. <laughs> is that a onesie he's wearing actually? Yeah, if you look that's closely, crazy. That's all one piece of cloth. God damn! How do you put that on, bro? How do you go to the bathroom in that? Don't think too hard about it. Try not to. We've had our top scientists researching it for the past six <laughs> years. No dice. Okay, though. James, James, when he's on the front foot, though, he's looking great. Looking really stellar. That being said, though, big damage about to come out from Juice. No, not really. Not this time. I, I guess Juice didn't commit too hard to it. He's got the stage control, and that's what really matters. God damn, that was a... It's clean ass FTO. Wow, Ooh. excellent job. Yeah, catching the high recovery. I love the little armor shake when he does that. His armor shakes when he does that. Yeah, a little powder. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called a little arm guard? Yeah. Why does he just have that? Is it because? Oh, because it's for blocking. That's his non dominant arm, therefore it's used for blocking. There you go. You're picking it up. Yay. Also, character design wise, he has the. He has the. He's the clean, crest. man. His, car his, his armor is clean. Oh, wow. Ooh. I don't know if that was some sus DI. That DI? Not good. Cool. That's some sus DI. So cool. All right. This might be James's last stock of the entire tournament, as crazy as that is to say. I mean, he's been on Hell's Gates before. It's it's not that unfamiliar territory. If he can take this game, it, it's going to be looking a lot better for him in terms of... Because I feel like James is a player who, like, once he starts picking up his momentum a little bit, it's very difficult to stop him. He just needs that, that little inch to get that mile. And there it is. Game one. Uh, game, not game one. Game one, nah, that's game three. Game one of James's new set. He definitely, he, he will cut a path. That is right, Krom. All right. Krom definitely said, I'll end you, and then he missed his upbeat completely, and that's what <laughs> just went wild. <laughs> I'll end you. I don't know about that one, Chief. Smash fail the pick. Dangerous territory. So much tension. Yeah, this is, this is a, Really important game here. Mm -hmm. Is this a, a B tier? Is nothing to sneeze at for uh, for PGR coverage right here. Oh, of course. And, and Juice needs it. James, I don't think James James also hasn't been attending that much either, actually. So he probably needs it as well. On top of that, it's like the, the budding rivalry between these two guys. Yeah. Like top representatives of their states. Even at that, top representatives of their characters too. Like. Wow, these drag downs! Holy crap! 
Will that end that out? Oh, lasers. All right, Sabres jumped off. And Doesn't yeah. matter. Doesn't even need to up B. That was such a clean start. A to cool guy there. right there. Okay. James trying to end this stock early with these, uh, sh was it Shield Breaker as well, or is, is that another move? I'm forgetting right now. I forget the name. Neutral B. I don't know if this stage was, uh... Hey, it's right up beautifully for Juice. Yeah, for sure. He's, like, he's rocking right now. The platform also serves as like an additional escape option for my mans. This stage offers so much for Falco. Like, from combo extensions to, like, the level of control that he gets with optimal positioning. Wow. And James looks absolutely baffled as to how that FTL hit him. I don't blame him. The spacing has been so clean by both of these players this set. Oh, yeah, that was interesting. He's getting stuck just, like, in front of him. And Krom really, Krom's grab range ain't the greatest, so... He, as, for, as far as options go, what can he really do there? All right, forward throw. Wow, oh. catching him. Yeah, nice. He's got to be careful after these because he's jumped every single time after his stock has ended. James gets confident and then just abandons ship immediately. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> As a vibe check. For sure. Shades of wrong. Ooh, everybody gangster. Not getting it right there. Wow, really clean. James is ready, bro. He's trying. Now that he has center stage, he's able to control all that space. So difficult for Falco to land here. He's not pierced with the down air the stage. Oh, he got caught. Oh, the bad right. roll. Why are this you is rolling? This is Juice's Why territory are you rolling now. there? This is Juice's Why game to win. There? And it's exactly what he's going to do. A 3-1 victory. James Ooh. played very nervous towards the end. Of that. Jumping, jumping one in the corner. Rolling out of the corner. You you gotta, you gotta keep your cool, bro. You gotta keep your cool. Ninth place for British tonight. That was a tense that was a test of mental endurance, definitely, for, that for was, both yes. of those players. But nice to see Juice in the top eight. Yeah. I feel sure. like he's he's been working hard at trying Phil, to get A Philly those. rep at Tri State Showdown is definitely what uh, did we defend from Connecticut, by the way? Con Connecticut Connecticut who? Connecticut who? Scott Lingling. Uh, who? Yeah. Not in this top eight, sir. Uh, we got it. South Carolina in this top eight, though. We got New Jersey in this top eight. Where's uh, is, was that? Uh, was Sinji New York in this top eight, or? Yeah, actually, I think Sinji made top eight off of that. 